The main research areas in our department are uh, atmospheric dynamics and weather, atmospheric physics, uh, atmospheric chemistry, and also climate. The thing that really set this program apart for me was that it was obvious from the beginning, they emphasize how to apply what you learn. They absolutely emphasize practical research. And so you can do theoretical research, but the emphasis in the end is always, how are we going to use this? No one's doing research just for the sake of research. Everyone's doing something that is necessary, that is important, that is useful. And I love the idea of doing research that someone's gonna use. My research project is taking machine learning and applying it to weather forecasting. So we want to improve weather forecasting using a data-driven machine learning program. This idea of machine learning seems really promising. It can improve calculations. So, you know, these models run on very large supercomputers and take, you know, tens of thousands of hours to make really long climate simulations. And being able to use machine learning to speed up the process as well as improve forecasts is extremely important. So currently my research project is involving this chamber. And so what I'm doing is I'm actually going out and collecting samples of different types of local vegetation. And so what we were trying to do is characterize um, essentially what a pollen burst does in terms of aerosol concentration. And then we have measurements downstream that are looking at how those aerosol particles could act as warm clouds or ice clouds. And so we're really interested in looking at a lot of the global and regional climate models are trying to take into account aerosol. So kind of trying to get into how all these different plants play into the local aerosol concentrations. We also have some opportunities for grad students to get involved in a, in a number of things. First of all, there are field experiments that are often happening with, with the faculty. In the past, we were part of a project that was part of a larger uh, NOAA and National Weather Service project called Vortex Southeast, which is looking at how tornadoes form specifically in the southeastern United States. So we were part of a year's worth of that field project called Meso 1819, where we launched weather balloons on campus as part of a larger network of different universities and weather service offices in the southeast. So I participated in the Yacht Truck Field Campaign in Costa Rica in 2019, and we launched drop zones in the East Pacific, and also we launched uh, radio zones. I think one of the uh, advantage of this department, our department, is that uh, uh, it has broad expertise. So we have like the like the more than 20 faculty members. So many of uh, faculty are, are just the leading scientists in the area. So we, I think this is exciting. We can collaborate with with each other, and uh, like for example, we can write a proposal together and uh, and uh, co-advise the graduate students. So I think graduate graduate students can learn a lot from different uh, different faculty the since they have a different uh, background